Hello everyone, it's Miss Kate again, and today we're going to learn to identify line symmetric figures and draw lines of symmetry. First, there are some vocabulary words I want to go over with you guys. Our first vocabulary word is point, and a point is a precise location in a plane. Our next vocabulary word is line. And a line is a straight path with no thickness that extends in both directions without end. Next, we have line segment. And a line segment is the set of all points between two end points. Next, we have diagonal. And diagonal is straight lines joining two opposite corners of a straight-sided shape. Next we have figure, and figure is the set of points in a plane. Next we have triangle, and a triangle consists of three non-collinear points and the three line segments between them. The three segments are called the sides of the triangle, and the three points are called the vertices. Next, we have intersecting lines, and intersecting lines are lines that contain at least one point in common. Next, we have vertex, and a vertex is a point often used to refer to the point where two lines meet, such as an angle or the corner of a triangle. An angle is a union of two different rays sharing a common vertex. Parallel is two lines in a plane that do not intersect. Perpendicular are two lines that intersect and any of the angles formed between. And finally, and most importantly, line of symmetry is a line through a figure such that when the figure is folded along the line, two halves are created that match up exactly. Our first example is this triangular figure that we have three points labeled A, B, and C. And we also have this line of symmetry right here. So what we want to do is draw the other half of this image to show what it would have looked like before folding it across its dotted line of symmetry. So in order to recreate this figure across this line of symmetry, we can see that A is 1, 2, 3, 4 units up from the line of symmetry. Now we can use this information to count down 4 units from the line of symmetry to create image A. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now points B and C actually stay the same because they lie on the line of symmetry. And this is what our completed figure will look like. Our next figure is a little bit more complicated. So let's start with our height from A to the line of symmetry, just like last time. One, two, three, four. So we're going to make image A one, two, three, four units up from the line of symmetry. Next we have B which is one, two, three units down from the line of symmetry. So we'll go one, two, three units up from the line of symmetry. And we have point C, which is one, two, three units down from the line of symmetry. So we'll go one, two, three units up from the line of symmetry. Just like our last figure, point E and D 
lie along the line of symmetry so they do not change and that is our completed figure okay just a couple more examples for you guys to make sure you're getting the hang of it so our first example we have pre-image a which is one two three four units up from the line of symmetry so of course we need to go down one two three four units from the line of symmetry and we have point b which is also four units up from the line of symmetry so again we're going to go down four units and once again points c and d are not going to change because they lie on the line of symmetry and this is what our finished image looks like so for this last example i would like you guys to try it on your own for about a minute i don't think it should take much longer than that and then i will show you what i have to make sure you guys got the same thing I'll give you guys about 15 more seconds to finish up. Okay, so hopefully this is what everyone got. And if you didn't, please don't be afraid to stay after class today and get some help. I hope you enjoyed today's math lesson. I used Engage New York for the examples as well as the vocabulary. I also used the Math Vocab app for some of the vocabulary and Explain Everything Basics app to create my lesson. Thank you so much and have a great day.